Welcome to Here to Initiate, a podcast for manifestors leaning on the concept of human design. We manifestors are 9% of the population here to initiate, and it is time for us to rise. In this podcast, I, your host, Julia, want to bring a missing link to the marketplace. Having been a mentor and coach since 2018 and learning more and more about being a manifester myself, I now, with this podcast, want to specifically support manifestors. With my brand Luxury Goddess, which is all about female remembrance, embodiment and empowerment, I have served thousands of women already and I now want to specifically support manifestors as well. I invite you to fully step into your peaceful, powerful self as a manifester. Let's become who we came here to be, shall we? Welcome to today's episode in which I will explore the splenic authority, one of the three authorities a manifester can have. If your emotional center is not defined and you're not an emotional authority, therefore, then you either have your spleen defined, in which case you are a spleni- splenic manifester, or you have your heart to find in which case you are a heart and an ego authority, ego manifester. And so these are the three options. And today we're exploring the splenic manifester. So the splenic authority only projectors and manifestors have. And it's actually around 20% in total of all human design Um, energy types of all humans basically so it's quite a lot of people that have the splenic authority or not quite a lot of people but quite a lot of projectors and manifestors especially and the splenic authority stands for intuition and instinct and is very impulsive it is also all about truth in the moment and oftentimes the decision that you make can't be can't be uh, like explained from the rational mind or rationally it, it wouldn't make sense for others maybe but for a person with a splenic authority it is a very instinctive a very impulsive intuitive m- m- clarity that hits in the moment of mm-hmm, right away you feel it and The difference to the sacral authority is that oftentimes it isn't in the gut, a feeling of uh uh-huh, uh-huh. It's more so a feeling in the whole body or kind of like a sensation too in the body, but not in the gut. More like it could be a shower coming over you, like goosebumps or something that you feel in your spine or something that you smell. Also something to do with your super senses like your body senses your your best super sense your best body sense in human design that could be the sense that it that you can feel your clarity so basically what it's all about for you as a splenic authority is trusting your body especially and Also, even though your head would bring arguments, would bring pros and cons, would bring um, reasons why you should or shouldn't do something or be or have something. So you have to move out of the mind because the splenic authority is closest to the idea of your intuition being your authority. And your intuition, as we all know, can be easy to like surpass to not to not hear to not listen to right oftentimes the fear or the rational mind is so much louder and has more reasons why to do a certain thing or not whereas the splenic authority or just our intuition uh, um as well is sometimes very 
like soft and not so loud. And so we have to really practice listening again to our intuition in this way and especially as splenic authorities to to those feelings and sensations. So it might take practice. It might take some time until you can hear it again if that is rather new to you and you have to practice. Now, what is most important as a splenic manifester as up until this point I even explained a little like the splenic authority in general. The splenic manifester needs to move through their waves of rest and urges, rest and urges to find out even, you know, how or when or like how the splenic authority hits in which moments. So especially looking at for us manifestors at the rest phase and then the urge, the rest phase and the urge, you want to look at how do you feel your splenic authority when you're in, a, in an urge, when there's something that hits you in the creativity strikes and also when you feel low or if when you feel you really need a break. And then also how does it hit in any kind of decision that you have to make in the moment, big ones and smaller ones. Like you can look at all, the, all of those factors. And again, too, as a manifester, you want to look at when you make that decision and you feel into your intuition and your impulse and your instinct what brings you the sense of peace right where do you feel the alignment and especially not the contrary which would be anger right also the next thing then would be to with that splenic authority and with that clarity to then go about it and inform so that you initiate. So these are the things to keep in mind. So if you are a projector, which you probably not when you listen, but just to to give you the example, if there's a projector with the splenic authority, because manifestors and projectors are the two energy types that have the splenic authority, then the projector and then would see is that something I need to go about, like what I want to eat right now? And I, it gives me clarity to, to eat, right? Because I'm not going to wait for an invitation to eat, right? <laughs> or is it about something bigger where it's also important, again, to wait for the invitation? Or did they already wait for the invitation, right? So that would be different. As for the manifester that has the clarity of the spleen, yes or no, or whatever it may be, and then goes about it and informs. Informing peacefully right will come after that and you do want to watch the waves with as a splenic manifester of the rest and the urge phases you want to look at where is there so much creativity and stuff coming through for you and where do you really want to chill out and rest and need more sleep or just in general sleep where are you tired maybe so you want to look at you know the way it feels different to feel your splenic authority in those two, like just in general, those two ways you can feel yourself or be, right? The rest, the chill, that I need a break, I'm going to go to bed, I'm tired. And the urge or the the active part of you or the, oof, I'm going about this now, I want to do this now. So look at that as well and definitely let the peaceful, like peacefully informing follow the splitting authority. So that's already all I wanted to share with you. And so either you're already amazing with that. So it's just about, you know, leaving out the voices of others as the spleen is so intuitive and so instinctive. It can bring that clarity of your intuition. And the 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 flip side of it is the fear, right? Is the fear. So you want to look at the, 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 the peaceful clarity of the spleen instead of the fears that could kick in that then become a voice in your head, right? And your mind really delivering all those points of reason why or why not to do something. So fear would be an indicator that you're not trusting the the sensations, the feeling, the intuitions that you have towards your clarity. 
right? So that is something to be aware of. So go about that, practice, have fun. And in the next audio, I'm going to bring you the last of the three authorities a manifestor can have, which is the heart ego authority. And I'm going to bring them all in a row so that you don't have to wait too long till the next episode comes out. So enjoy practicing this and exploring and I will catch you next time. This was today's episode for you as a manifester in the concept of human design. I hope this episode and whole podcast serves you. And if it does, I invite you to leave a five-star review on iTunes or rank the podcast five stars on whatever platform you listened and or subscribe, comment, or share, whatever feels right to you. So we can spread this for all manifestors to hear and rise as one. Thank you from one manifestor to another. I deeply appreciate you rising and I look forward to catch you next time. Always remember, you are here to feel peaceful. You are here to initiate. Remember to always inform peacefully. You are so powerful. I see you. You've got this. From one manifestor to another, yours, Julia. Julia.